Okay, so we are going to have a short city tour. We we will pass in the old Kigali where the city started themselves, where the first first building was built by Dr. Richard Kant. And then we walk, we drive through the old city, mostly the Muslim streets because that's where we have a lot of Muslim and multi multicultural people, the people from Congo, from uh, Uganda, from Burundi. They are different. We talk about the city a bit, and then we. Uh, we go to the new Kigali to see the modern city that uh, Kigali itself decided to have uh, the master plan of 2020. For now, I've always heard of Rwanda, Rwanda, Rwanda. Then all of a sudden, we said, uh, "Why not? Let's go and see Rwanda, see where's the history." Like last year, we were in Ghana. This year, we decided to visit Rwanda. But I think since I've been around, what the little I've seen of Rwanda, you know, speaks volume of people who has determination to succeed, and uh, it's, it's it's a wow, you know. And the one that thing that interests me most is that they talk. They talk so softly that you can even barely hear them. But we in Nigerians, you know, we, we talk good. We talk good, we talk loud. been a wonderful experience being in Rwanda. I've never been here. This is my first time and it has been awesome. It's a beautiful country, beautiful place. The organization so far has been great. Nips, a big thumbs up to Nips. We actually had a great time. Actually I was a bit skeptic. I had my doubts considering what happened some years back in Rwanda but when we came peaceful, no problem and with regards to our other experiences, the other retreats we've gone to, it has been good. So coming here it's still good. It's, it's actually great. So it was really nice being in Rwanda. Someday I'd like to bring my kids here too. Thank you. Yeah, the experience I have now it's uh, of my experience, especially as uh, regards Rwanda. Now, this is my first time of coming to Rwanda and I'm able to get um, the first hand information of what happened in Rwanda before independence, during the genocide and after independence. Um, it was an experience, fresh experience. First hand. I didn't get from anybody. It's not a first hand information.
message I have to African people is that from the very beginning, we have all been one. We have always been one. And the truth is, we have everything it takes to continue to be one. However, the divisive influence always comes from the outside. It's always from the external parties that always want to bring in that divisive influence. So the more we are able to counteract that divisive influence that divides us into either by religion or by ethnicity or by tribe, the more we are able to override that, the better it is for us as um, Africans and as a people. And I think um, other African countries in particular, where we have um, this divide and rule policies by the Western uh, colonials in those um, in, in those days. So for us to learn from what has actually happened and see how we can actually put our house together to live as one for for us to create a better you know a better living place for future generations. The message I'll be taking back to my home country Nigeria most especially is that the enemy is not your brother of another religion. Your enemy is not your brother of another tribe. Your enemy is that person that deprives you from being able to work, feed, and live with dignity. They're downstairs and I'll just bring them upstairs now. They're uh, 80, I'm not sure what age now, 80 something year old uh, husband and the wife is about the same age as well. They've been married, I don't know, maybe 40, 35 years and um, they, we invited them to just come and give us uh, some tips, I guess, um, on how to keep our marriages happy and uh, I hope that it would be uh, something that we can all benefit from. Um, it's very informal, there's nothing, they're a very bubbly, funky couple, so I guess that um, it's, it's, it's not, nothing formal. They're not coming with any prepared speeches or anything like that. They're just going to talk about their story and, their, and they want us to engage, you know, they want a, an interactive sort of session. Um, so. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't this wonderful here? My name is Yemi Adefulu. I am a lawyer by profession. You're welcome, sir. I have been in the practice of law for a few years. But with me, let me say it's my wife. How many years? This is Ololadi Adefulu. She has been... That's my bride. We're here on honeymoon. We've been married for 44 years. And um, between us, we have six children and ten grandchildren. Wow. I have been in the practice of law for 45 years. The law firm of the building and I gave for you was set up on the 6th of November, 1972. Wow. 
and this is the oldest law partnership in Nigeria. Law partnership is the oldest one subsisting. Uh, what else did they expect me to say? <laughs> I've been brought in to come and have a good time. Uh, with my wife, to come and enjoy your company. And I've been told that this is a group of um, upwardly mobile technocrats who are ensuring that the Nigerian banking system you know, keeps working and keeps working well. And um, a number of you are very, very, you are all very, very busy people, extremely so. And that some of you have your husbands here, and a good number have their wives here. And that in whatever way I could, that we could speak and encourage you, uh, we should do so. So that's why uh, your organization has brought us all the way from Nigeria is very, very unusual, because ordinarily they will bring you to come and uh, to come and talk only about things that have to do with the company uh, to get it going. But this time we're going to be talking about something that touches your lives as individuals, something that will determine your success in life something that will fundamentally affect your lives and your generations for the future. So I'm happy to be here, and I do hope that we're going to have a good time together. We're going to be discussing and we're going to be sharing, and uh, very nice to see you all. Thank you very much.